Hey, I'm here today with Sydney Morrow from Lakeland, Florida, and Harvest Assembly is the name of your church, and you are the children's pastor there, correct? That's right, I am. How long have you guys been there? Seven years. Seven years, very cool. And I just want to ask you a question today about kind of setting goals with your children's ministry. First of all, is that something you guys do? And if so, how do you how do you go about picking goals for the year for you guys' church? Um, we set goals um, every year, usually not in January. We usually have our goals before we go into the new year. Um, we usually set them based on really one of the major re- ways is kind of the vision that pastor is kind of feeling for the year. We usually have a, a major theme for right. our church every year. And so that's one of the ways. Um, but as far as in children's ministry, um, we kind of evaluate our previous year. What worked, what didn't work, what did we do right? And we set goals based on the things that matter, that are important, based upon our mission statement, vision statement. And... Um, Anything that doesn't fit in there, we kind of just yeah. Take it so, out. so your pastor kind of sets the direction for yeah. all the ministries. I assume mm-hmm. you guys look back on the year you just had, and you kind of mm-hmm. use some of the, like the purpose and the yeah. vision, those sort of things to evaluate your right. progress over the year. Yeah. What's some of the tools that you guys use to evaluate? You sit around the table and talk through them one at a time, um, or do you have a proper evaluation yeah, sheet I have or something? Both. I also a lot. I believe in accountability. I'm a big proponent of accountability. I think. Um, that when you set these goals that you have to have people I ha- use other children's pastors I bring people in and say hey what do, what do you think what do you, but as an outsider what do you think does that does that look right does that something that you think and so I use um, that as a gauge I, I just think that a lot of times we set goals and then we don't put the proper uh, things in place to help us evaluate and to see if we're really fulfilling that goal. Um, I think one of the ra- reasons why Weight Watchers is so is such a great you know tool is because they have accountability. Every week a girl knows that if they go to the Weight Watchers they're going to weigh in. Yeah. And so they, they it encourages them to lose weight and not eat like a cow. So, so for effective children's ministry we need more scales yeah. for our leaders yeah, to and stand need, on. Yeah and I think and that's no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Metaphorically. Met- metaphorically they, The speaking, metaphorically weigh yes, in each not week. Weight or Watcher scales. <laughs> okay, got it. But um, I just think that we, um, we, we have to set realistic goals. I, th- I just um, in my own life, I, I remember first becoming a children's pastor and yeah. seeing things that everybody else was doing and setting these astronomic goals. And I'm thinking, I'll never meet these. And um, and then just having people around me yeah. that had been in the ministry longer, that were successful, saying, "Sydney, let's scale this down. Let's start, you know, somewhere that's realistic. Yeah. Like, don't set a hundred thousand dollar BGMC goal the first year. You're, you know, right. I mean, unless God really speaks to you and you know, in faith, and you know, you could." But realistically, you know, like if you're running a children's ministry of 25 and you're realistically, you're not, I'm gonna, so we're going to increase to 300 this year. I mean, yeah. realistic goals in so your how do you find that balance, though? Because you always talk about people, you always hear people speaking about dream big, yeah. you know, reach high. How do you find yeah. that balance then between reaching too yeah. high to where you may end up being discouraged yeah. at the end of the year? Yeah, well, I think that you, you, you have to set goals that are bigger than yourself. Yeah. Much bigger than yourself, obviously. But yet at the same time, realistically, that, I mean, we go to, like, in regards to BGMC, yeah. I, I bring it before our children. What is the goal you guys want to set? And they're like, one million dollars. You know, they're like, I'm like, okay, guys, let's be realistic. Yeah. Kids, you guys don't have jobs. And so I just think that there's a balance that you have to find in the goal setting. And then in the goal setting, Trusting God and believing God in faith that, hey, God, if you take us way above this, we're there. That's but cool. But realistically, we're going to set this goal that's bigger than ourselves as it is and just trust you to do even bigger. That's cool. Cool. So, well, thanks for sharing some of those thanks. thoughts. Where can people find out more about your church? Um, at www.harvestassembly.org. And if someone wanted to get into con- get in contact with you, where would they track you down at? at the website? The website. Perfect. Or... You or even the district website. But yeah, perfect, perfect, yeah. cool. Well, thanks a lot. Good. Thank you.
No!